Strategic One X coming up with a huge update in version 136. Now, before we jump into the updates, let's first describe what Strategic One X is and what are the competition in the market today. So, Strategic One X is a data mining package where it lets you, regardless of your background, build strategies without programming basically without adding any code without understanding the code even and it does this by combining many blocks hundreds and thousands of variations of those hundred blocks to build strategies and then based on your filtering then you will get strategies saved in a data bank for example imagine you have a block for close higher than the previous close another block where the close is higher than a moving average another block where the ADX is higher than 20 and so on and so forth. So all these blocks then get combined into one strategy. And then in your filters, which you set through a graphical interface, you say, I want the average trade to be $100. I want the net profit to be above uh, $5,000 and so on and so forth. And the builder will scramble all these blocks, spits out the strategies, and you get what you want. Now, the first thing that you're gonna say is, well, all these strategies are overfit. And it is true, most of these strategies are overfit, but all these packages and Strategy Quant X is one of them, usually they have some form of robustness to filter out the overfit strategies and leave you with a robust strategy without learning how to program or how to code. Now, Strategy Quant X is not the only platform that does this in the current market. There are three main competitors to Strategy Quant X. They are Build Alpha, Genetic System Builder, and Adaptrate. Those are all Windows applications. There are some versions for Mac and Linux, but mostly let's say they are Windows application. And they all try to solve the same problem, which is you build strategies without learning to code. Not only that, but you build thousands of variations without learning how to code. Now, each one of these platforms come to this problem from a different point of view. And therefore, they are not exactly the same. Now, some of them let you automate or semi-automate the building process. And some of them let you use those blocks to build your own strategy manually, but SQX shines in automation and robustness. It lets you automate this whole process infinitely. Like it basically give you all the steps. You, it, again, it's building blocks. You can build your automation inside of SQX. SQX has one of the best robustness testing from my point of view. It has work forward matrix and system parameter permutization. And those two exist in the same platform with automation really is a huge plus. Now, there are other platforms that are usually online. There are many of them. I've been following these for the past two years. There are probably around 20, I would say. And they're all, again, trying to solve the same problem where you basically write in plain English what you want to do. And the platform will try to interpret what you want to do and put it in code for you and uh, build a strategy. The problem with all the online platforms, the one that I've seen at least, and I've seen many, they are all missing a huge part, which is the automation part and the robustness testing. Of course, the automation, you can kind of skip it, but really robustness you cannot do, do without because you don't know if your strategy is going to perform in the future or if it is an overfit strategy and it's going to fail miserably in the future. Now, all these platforms that I mentioned, they usually export the code to the most common one, which is easy language that the trade station uses and multi charts. Also, they export to MQL, which is MetaTrader 4 and 5. All of them export to plain English. Now, some of them export to Python, which is really also a good option if you know how to do uh, programming in Python. Okay, so now that we know what Strategy Quant X is, what the landscape is, let's focus now on this huge update to SQX. Okay, so first of all, as usual, there is a humongous amount of bugs squashed. And if you go to the roadmap, you can see, I mean, I can scroll this forever. You know, uh, that's part of every software development nowadays. So now let's go to the update. On the right, this is version 135868. This is the 
latest stable version in uh, 135.x so on the left this is version 136.1414 it's release candidate 3 but still i mean this is not the final version from now things will not change drastically mostly what's going to happen now in the release uh, candidate 3 to the public version you will have just more bugs squashed. Now, although the starting page looks different, I can tell you that they're actually uh, the same. It's just the different layout. And this goes for builder, it's the same. The tester is the same. Optimizer is the same. <laughs> so you can see they're all the same except when we reach to data manager now it might look the same but there is a single tab look at this this is called stock groups and if you click on it now you have all these indexes that contain the stocks inside them now of course you can add your own group for example here i add index etfs i added seven the one i like but these are uh, let's say uh, very well known groups and and you can see it shows the count of how many symbols inside them so the first thing we're going to notice is we have two numbers and this is extremely important if you build strategies on portfolios then most likely you've heard of survivorship bias basically let's say you're testing a strategy on the whole index of the s p 500 today if you go back 20 years well you have the 500 instruments inside the index today that doesn't show the instruments that went into the s p 500 index and got out because they were bankrupt basically the performance went down so there are rules when to enter the s p 500 and when to exit so if their performance is down they will exit that's what makes actually the s p 500 index goes up all the time it's because it is a system actually based on picking up the best performing companies and adding them to the index and kicking out the worst performing instrument now the two numbers here show the number of active stocks and the number of stocks that uh, basically enter the index and exit it. and what this now lets you it lets you test your strategy on the instruments that are out of the index today and so then you'll have a complete picture of how your strategy behaved let's say 15 years ago so to illustrate this for example tesla entered the s p 500 index last year and a company with the symbol aiv exited the index so for example if you are testing a strategy on the s p 500 in 2020 your strategy would have seen aiv symbol as part of the s p 500 index and tesla was not in the index but today if you test the strategy you will find Tesla since the beginning is inside the S&P 500 index while you will not see AIV. So the survivorship bias index will have AIV and Tesla both the time they entered and the time they exited the index. So this is really good. So for example, you see here S&P 500 is 501 symbols today, but throughout its history, it had 1241 symbols okay so why do we have this now because uh, obviously we can only test on one symbol and that is the huge update to version 136 of strategy quant x which is the new stock picker engine this engine will work uh, on groups of stocks for example the whole index is like s p 500 and you can build your strategy on this group of stocks and trade them as a portfolio so now if we go back to builder and go to data you will see in the engine now we have two new additions the algo wizard cloud stock picker the algo wizard cloud single asset those two engines are the new engines that will trade stocks only for now and they can trade a portfolio now you might say well why single asset because we already can build a single asset in all these engines these strategies that you build in these two engines now can be traded online and this is the algo wizard online so whatever strategy you will build in stock picker engine or single asset engine on stocks can be traded online live or paper trading okay so let's do it one step at a time first we have a new algo wizard to accommodate this new stock picker engine 
this algo wizard now it looks like this basically if you start new so you can pick a single asset this is the old style so simple editor full editor single asset and these are then two new additions stock picker strategy with trades a portfolio the single asset cloud strategy which basically you can move it to the cloud to trade uh, on your account live so if we pick a stock uh, picker strategy you will get this you will get long short and the position score what this means is if we go to setting now i can pick my symbol out of the group remember the groups we had before so they will show up here and you pick the group you pick the data and time frame and you have money management and then you add your conditions just like normally you do in algo wizard but then your strategy is built on all the symbols now of course you might be asking well i don't have capital to trade 500 symbols even though i can do it right now but of course that's not what you are doing what you are doing is applying the strategy on all the symbols in an index or in your own index because you can build your own index whatever number of stocks you want and you can trade on that but the idea is to apply your strategy to this index and then sort on some kind of criteria to pick the best symbols to trade this could be 1 2 10 20 100 depending on the capital available to you and your strategy let's take for example the rsi2 which i mentioned many times on this channel so before i always showed you how you trade the rsi2 on the s p 500 now the s p 500 is a total of 500 stocks i apply rsi2 let's say below 25 and now i look who is the lowest close of all these 500 stocks that pass the rsi 25 so i sort them and then i have 10 i can pick whatever let's say 10 here and now i invest my capital equally on all these 10 stocks so 10 stocks let's say i have ten thousand dollars i give each stock one thousand dollar and now i will trade this stock with one thousand dollar with this signal and when it exits i execute the code again and now I will fill again the positions that is not filled. So I always have a maximum number of positions, which is in this case is 10. So here is an example. So this is the RSI 2 below 20 applied to the S&P 500 from 2017 to 2022 using the stock picker engine. And uh, I have $10,000 and risking 20% on each position. This is not risking, this is basically giving 20% of capital to each position. We're exiting when the RSI above 65 or 5 bars or stop loss of 5%. And this is what we get. Now don't look at this and say, okay, this is the holy grail, that's it. I'm jumping in, I'm making a million dollars. There are a couple of mistakes that I already know here. Uh, now remember, this is not the final version. But for example, there is no limitation on the position side so you see here the position is a percentage but you know stocks if you go back enough time they have splits so let's say apple if you go back 10 years apple it is going to look maybe three dollars but at the time apple wasn't three dollars but now you give it ten thousand dollars to your strategy and ten thousand dollars will invest based on apple as three dollars so that of course will increase position sizing by a huge amount so there should be a limit on the number of shares that you can buy currently there is no such thing so if i test now because i have data since 1987 i think here for stocks and if i go back <laughs> this strategy will make i don't know 10 trillion or <laughs> some obscene number and that's because at one point the position is like 15 million shares obviously that's not practical in any case so i'm sure they will fix this in the the update before going public usually you need to have a floor and a ceiling basically don't trade less than 10 shares and don't trade more than i don't know 5000 shares this is very practical and doesn't matter how much money you have then you're always limited by the size also the size can be limited to the volume now this is a little bit advanced it can easily be built in sqx because it's all logic 
you can say, well, do not trade more than 1% of the previous one month average volume. So now that we have this uh, stock picking engine and we can build those strategies, now SQX a new update also solve a huge problem, which is a VPS server. Usually if you wanna trade online, basically not your computer at home where you do games and do your WordPress, Excel, whatever you wanna do on your own computer, or maybe you switch it off, you usually have a VPS somewhere and you put your trading platform on it. Now SQX solved this already. They put their own engine, they connected, to Alpaca, which provides stock trading through their API. And now you can connect your broker account through Alpaca to this engine. So this is how it looks like. You see here, I have connected accounts and I have here Alpaca paper connected. Now you can uh, connect interactive brokers. I don't know how many brokers they have at the launch, but basically you can connect uh, brokers through Alpaca. Now Alpaca, like I mentioned, they do B2B business where they provide companies like SQX an API to trade stocks. And of course, uh, they share the revenue with them, not <laughs> for free. And uh, Alpaca is actually, it's a very stable company. They launched uh, three years ago, but that's what they do. They offer equities trading software via API to other fintech companies. So, but now once you connected, now you have paper trading and live trading and you can deploy your strategies, the one you have, that you build. And once you deploy them, that's it. The strategy will trade and you will get email notification and you have a trading log. So for example, these are the open trades. PL. Now again, this is the beta version, so it's not uh, completely baked yet, but basically you get the open trade, trade history, equity line, trade log, and the strategies deployed, and you can uh, switch on and switch off strategies. And so it's a VPS, but SQX is running it, so you don't need to worry about it. It's basically all the headache is on SQX. Of course, this nut will be free, so I don't know the pricing yet. Probably is going to be $30 for basic uh, strategy. But remember, SQX now is doing everything. They are, they are hosting their platform. They are connected to the broker. So they are taking care of all this. And you have a lot less headache than if you are doing it on your own. Basically, renting a VPS, deploying Strategy Quant X, sending the orders to your broker, blah, blah, blah. It's, uh, of course, this is much, much better version. So as you can see, this is a huge step moving forward for SQX because in the future, they are planning to add Forex and futures trading to the cloud platform. To learn more, make sure to watch these videos and I will see you there.